Yes, let's do this problem right here. The question is asking let f of s is equal to x minus 4 for minus 3 so that there is no number c in 2 5 such that f of 5 minus f of 2 equal f of uh, f prime c 5 minus 2 and why does this not contract the mean value theorem so if you notice this one so this one basically this is the uh, rearrangement of this equation f of f prime c is equal to f of b minus f of a over b minus a so they have just uh, flipped this one and asking us to do this question so let's see what happens so let's take the right uh, left hand side and solve this one so left hand side if we take the left hand side and solve this one is going to be f of 5 minus f of 2 so I have to substitute this value in this equation so if I substitute for the first one I will get 1 over 5 minus 4 cube that's going to give us just 1 and the second one 1 over for 2 minus 4 is going to be negative 2 2 minus 4 negative 2 power minus 3 power cube is going to be 1 over 8 1 over negative 8 and so it's going to be one minus negative 1 over 8 and if I if I add them together this will this will come up to be this we can write this one as 8 over 8 so it's going to be 9 over 8 9 over 8 and the other side of the equation we have f prime c 5 minus 2 so first of all we have to find the derivative of this one derivative of this is going to be f prime x so this minus 3 comes in front of this minus 3 x minus 4 power minus 4 and we had to use chain rule but if you use the chain rule you will get just 1 because derivative of x is going to be 1 this is going to be 0 so this is just going to be the multiplication of 1 therefore this is going to be f prime c times 5 minus 2 is 3 so this is this times uh, 3 so they are saying 3 times minus 3 minus 3 times x minus 4 power 4 power minus 4 is equal to 9 over 8 and they are, they are asking us to solve this so let's see how we can do so this is going to be 3 times 3 times minus 3 is going to be minus 9 and here we can write this one as uh, x minus 4 power 4 in the bottom and this is going to be 9 right here and it's going to be 8 and if we solve for x so this is uh, we can swap this around so it's going to be x minus 4 power 4 equal to minus 9 over 9 times 8 so my, uh, 9 9 cancels minus 1 times 8 is going to be minus 8 from now on we can say this is uh, there is no solution for this one because if you fall through the negative number you will get error in your calculator you can try it in your calculator and see you will get error because we can't uh, even root a like square root of fourth root a uh, negative number right so this is this doesn't exist therefore we have to show that uh, they are asking uh, why does this contradict mean value theorem because uh, if it's if it doesn't get a, if it's not getting a value for this one it means uh, there's something wrong in the mean value theorem it means let's check whether it is satisfying the two conditions of the mean value theorem so first of all uh, to apply mean value theorem we have we have to two conditions first it must be continuous and second it must be this equation must be differentiable so first of all let's see whether it is continuous in this interval 2 to 5 so to do this one i rearrange this equation so f of x is equal to they they have given x minus 4 power minus 3 we can write this one as x minus 4 cube but in this case uh, x can, cannot cannot be equal to 4 because if it 4 this will become 0 right so 0 power 3 is 0 then 1 over 0 undefined so 0 is not uh, 4 is not possible all the other values are possible but let's check whether 4 is in this domain yeah because the closed interval is 2 to 5 so 4 is between them 
therefore this is not continuous so right right away we can say this this does not satisfy the mean value theorem right so therefore therefore that's why that's why this is this is not contradicting because this is not satisfying the mean value theorem therefore it's okay to not getting a value for x so that's it that's how we prove this one and i hope you guys like this video see you next time